What's good, baby? Hey, thank you guys so much for every single video that you click on. If I ever get the pleasure of meeting you in real life, you can bet that my tongue will be somewhere down your throat. Oh! You think that's a joke, huh? You think that's a joke? Yeah, ha uh, ha, super funny though. No, it's not funny. It's not funny when my tongue is eight foot deep. It's not funny when my tongue is in your liver. You know, maybe I should think before I speak. Recently, I lost a massive partnership oh. because they deemed my content not appropriate. And all I wanted to do was shove my tongue down their throat, you know? <laughs> this is a gay video. And of course, if you need Madden coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. They sell coins on every single platform. You can also directly buy players or training points. Buying limiteds and quick selling them is probably the safest route, so I recommend that. This is a significantly better deal than what EA is going to offer you, and you can get 10% off when using the code MMG. Just use the link at the top of the description. You can't stop me! Season Wheel of Mutt! Let's get into it, baby! Now the question everybody's asking in a brand new season of Wheel of Mutt is, Papa Meeks, who is the prestige? The prestige player is 95 overall limited TJ Hawkinson. Ever since the Lions drafted Hawkinson, I've loved the guy. He's got an awesome tight end card. I wouldn't say it's the most meta tight end card in the world, but it's still a 95 overall. I gave him double knee, tight end apprentice, and deep out elite. So in other words, I'm gonna be putting him on some corner routes. Let's just put it that way. I've never used Hawkinson. I'm insanely excited to do so. My only other very good option, one that I actually heavily weighed, was Anthony Munoz at left tackle. I did not go Anthony Munoz at left tackle. We already got Jason Kelsey, and I think a tight end was a little more important. And honestly, tight ends block on the edge too, so it's kind of like a two for one. And if you take a look at my backfield, you see two brand new things. Let's start with Earl Campbell, the power-up legend for this season. Last two seasons, I have completely fumbled the bag on power-up legend. The Jerry Rice pick was just a bad pick because he ended up being, even if I had maxed him out, not a very good wide receiver. Prior to that was Ed Reed, and I just couldn't get him stats. Earl Campbell kind of reminds me of Okoye. When fully maxed out, will be a 95 overall. So number one, he's going to be incredible. Even if there might be some better halfback cards, he'll be incredible. He has 93 speed, but most importantly to me, he has 97 acceleration. So just like Okoye, he's this beefy guy, and his acceleration's insane, so he gets to that second level level, the third gear, really fast. He's short, but he's 232 pounds, and his stats right now, honestly, are not that bad. When he's fully maxed, he'll have 92 strength, 92 agility, 93 speed, 97 excel. His blocking will actually be pretty good. His trucking will be 96. His change of direction will be 91, which leaves a little bit to be desired, but this is like, this is a beefy bag. It'll be like I have two Okoye's back there, which is kind of what I'm going for, and I finally did it. This was a very difficult decision to make. I prestige the Nigerian nightmare. And he got a 95 overall Christmas legend. This Christmas legend does not get the Vanguard ability. In fact, you can't even put Vanguard on him. That Nigerian nightmare, aka 91 overall, was unique as a fullback having the Vanguard ability. There are no other fullbacks in the game that have the Vanguard ability. So, that is off the table. However, what is on the table is two things here. There's Bruiser, which is more powerful truck and stiff arm animations. Matt, that's your fullback. Why do you need Bruiser on him? My thought process is if I get into a game and I actually need to run the ball, I'm gonna sub Okoye into halfback, and he's gonna be insane. I mean, look at the stats on this card. He's got 93 speed, 96 excel. His run block, his truck is 97. Are you kidding me? 97? His break tackle is 96. This is probably one of the best halfbacks in the game, and honestly, this is what Earl Campbell is going to look like when we max him out. Okoye could be our halfback until we get Earl Campbell to where we need him to be, and then we'll have two. So down the line, no, I don't think he'll have Bruiser, but I did notice something interesting about the goal line back ability. Now, the goal line back ability says you get stronger run blocking within five yards of the end zone. And it made me think, does that mean I only get stronger run blocking if Okoye is getting handed the ball? But my understanding is you just get stronger run blocking within five yards of the end zone. So if I were to run I formation half back stretch, Christian Okoye blocking, Earl Campbell gets the ball, and we're within five yards of the end zone. My thought is even though Okoye is not getting the ball, I still think we will get stronger run blocking. Of course, we still have Justin Jefferson, our prestige wide receiver at 93 overall. He's still great. I know he's not a 96 overall God squad wide receiver, but he's still really, really good. Kelsey is still amazing with identifier and nasty streak. Bailey Zappi is probably not my number one choice for quarterback, but we'll see what happens. Defensively, of course, we have 96 overall Troy Palomalu. We've got 93 overall Micah Parsons, and we've got 91 Sauce Gardner. I expect Micah to get an upgrade. Technically, he might not win defensive player of the year. I think Micah is still the front runner. Nick Bosa could win it. So I kind of need to mentally prepare for that. But
but Sauce Gardner is defensive rookie of the year no matter what. So that card will be coming. We just kind of have to wait. So obviously seeing a silver team like this isn't great, but with the good prestigious that we have, I really think offense can hold its own. I think defense is going to need my wheel spin help today. So a brand new season, a fresh start to Wheel of Mutt. I'm so excited. Let's have a good time, boys. Let's get into it. All right, let's see it, baby. Let's see what we got. I'd like to add a free safety, a corner, or a cornerback right now. Our, dude, okay, I promise you I'm not a gambling degenerate. I just keep getting it. 10 times rerolls again. All right, let's talk about the good and the bad. The good news, I am absolutely guaranteed to upgrade a position right now. 1,000%, I will be upgrading a position. The bad news, I only get to choose one player out of these 10 rerolls. I don't think there's any limited in the store right now, so it's kind of a bummer. There are two reroll options. There's the 84 plus campus hero. There's a 90 plus zero chill. 90 plus zero chill is kind of the obvious option, but these campus heroes players are actually so cool. I'd love to get a 93. So I'm going to do five of each, especially because I think zero chill is going to give me good options no matter what. So we'll do 10 total rerolls. We can choose one player for the team. Starting out with an 84 Marlon Humphrey. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw what happened with these campus hero packs, but basically EA dropped them with like really good pack odds. And then they realized, oh shit, we made these pack odds too good. And throughout the day that this promo released, they continued to drop the odds of pulling good stuff in the packs. It was so fucked up. It went from like 26% to get a 93 or better down to 6% to get a 93 or better. Robert Hunt, 89 right guard though. So we already do have like one really solid option. That was pack three. So just pack four right here. Didn't get anything crazy yet. There's an 84. Final campus hero. So right now, Robert Hunt's our best option. Fifth and final pack, 89 Joe Burrow. That actually could be a really good option. Didn't I have the 89 Joe Burrow, a different 89 Joe Burrow on this team before? I feel like I did. I think I had that AFC champion. Ooh, 92. 92. Martin M. I have to go Martin. Martin Emerson as of right now. That's too crucial. Okay, so a 92 corner Martin Emerson. That's the front runner. This is a 90. Jerry Hughes, no thank you. Not over Martin Emerson. This is pack eight right here. It is Taylor Decker. Oh, Taylor Decker tight end. Pack number nine, another 90 overall. Unfortunately, you know, I didn't even know he had a halfback card. Tenth and final pack is... Ooh, tell me why I have a big feeling that Mike Evans corner is actually going to be better than Martin Emerson. All right, let's just compare him head to head. So Martin Emerson, I got to say, he's already pretty damn tall, which is really nice to have. He's a 6'2 corner. Mike Evans is obviously 6'5". Emerson's definitely got him in excel and agility. Mike Evans jumps higher. Play rec is better. Zone coverage significantly better. Press is better. 95 catching, 90 excel. This is genuinely a difficult decision. 86 change of direction is nice. He's going to be like a return demon, dude, if you get the INT with him. I feel like Mike Evans protects against the aggro catch a lot better. Browns fans, I'm sorry. Anybody who had Mike Evans in the fantasy championship, you know, this is a little icing on the cake for you. I'm gonna go with Mike Evans. All right, our first wheel spin lands us. 90 overall corner Mike Evans. Not exactly what I expected, but I'm happy to have it. Our second wheel spin. Oh, I was so close to... Whoa, damn! We land with Team of the Week jackpot. I can take any Team of the Week player in the game, which is obviously an insane array of players. Let's see exactly what I could get. So they go up to 95 overall, which is awesome. I actually have my sights on a middle linebacker. Ooh, he's so expensive. Holy shit, 650k? But I think this is who I want. Derek Johnson middle linebacker. You guys know how much I love that Isaiah Simmons? He's 6'3", 240, 93 speed. He hits like a brake truck, bro. It's 96 hit power. His block shed's incredible. His strength is slightly low, but not really. 78 is pretty good for linebacker. Change of direction is great for returns. He gets one AP lurker, two AP crusher. So for three AP, I can run both. My team of the week jackpot is our user middle linebacker. This way, also, we can leave Troy Palomalu up there. In my personal opinion, it's very stupid that you have to put the ability lurker onto a player to make them animate. Why do safeties animate but not linebackers? That's I think it's a, a game design flaw, but when I do put lurker on him, he might as well be a strong safety who can hit hard as hell and is a big boy. Six foot three, and with Crusher, hopefully we can cough up some fumbles. That puts us at 3 AP for Derek Johnson. I'm not going to give him an X factor. We're just going to run him just like this. And honest to God, his Campus Heroes card art goes so much harder. Team of the Week's okay, but this looks like a super expensive, really cool trading card. So I'm running it just like that. Derek Johnson, 95 overall, middle linebacker. Welcome to the team. So glad to have you. I think he'll be a little bit better than Balin Specter. That leaves me with a third and final wheel spin and no quarterback to speak of at the moment. So I think a quarterback will be really important here. Assume. 
Oh, shit. I should have taken a quarterback with that wheel spin. Or I could have gotten Burrow instead of Mike Evans. Ooh, I just dug myself in a little hole here, didn't I? So I can't do the Campus Hero set pack because that costs Madden cash. I'm not allowed to do that. I technically can do rerolls. So if I wanted, I could do three more 90 plus zero chill rerolls. I kind of want the best odds to get a quarterback. This gives me one of 284 plus, one of 284, and then a choice of a, a dog shit player. Elite Legends gives me a 79 plus gold, 182 plus elite, and 286 plus legend. I don't want any of the legend quarterbacks. I hate legends packs, dude, straight up. Okay, pro elite is 286 plus and 470 plus. I feel like I'm going, I'm going three pro elite packs and we just got to pray. We're going to fill a lot of positions getting store packs here, which is nice. Oh, Tyson. That's huge. It's honestly huge. Tyson Campbell is huge. But I need a QB. Oh my God. 91 straight hand. Let's go. Panay Sewell. That's also a huge help. I can't complain anymore. This is honestly, this first pack already was, was a heater. This was a very big help. Right tackle. Absolutely. Got the London look at left end. And Tyson Campbell, I actually really like. He's a little slow for this late in the game, but he's going to be so much better than the silver we got in there. In fact, I might end up putting Tyson Campbell at free safety. Still no quarterback to speak of. We may enter this game with Bailey Zappi. If I don't get a QB, Dustin, I've had him before. He's actually pretty good. Jesse Houston was kind of slept on. 86, AKA, come on. Uh, Fitzmagic, Fitzmagic, Fitzmagic. <laughs> I just pulled a 91 and a 92 left in. I mean, I'm so happy to have him. He's so good, but damn. Jet Anderson. I don't know who that is. Zero chill quarterback. Oh, yes. McCaffrey's our QB, I guess. Unless I get someone else, I got a free save. It's an elite. It's an elite. It's an elite. Let's go. Opening packs has never been this clutch. Holy shit. So Ed Reed will be 88 free safety. None of these guys are end game teams, but they're all so helpful right now. I guess you could go on left tackle. McDaniel. Keep working on that O line. Okay, that's going to be dog shit ultimate kickoff sucks uh no actually pretty good i was gonna say that's that's my other 86 plus elite i think but i'm not even mad oh. what is going on I'm cracked. I'm straight up cracked out of my fucking mind right now. Yo, that third wheel spin was amazing. Okay, let's get these players in this lineup right now. QB is 85 overall. Scrambler McCaffrey. What are the stats on this McCaffrey? 92 speed is great. Oh, his accuracies are horrible, huh? Well, his short accuracy is not bad, so we throw short. I mean, we're not gonna throw laser beam corner routes, but it looks like with 87 throw on the run, we can roll out right and throw a halfway decent pass. Do you get dashing dead eye by chance, buddy? It's a joke. I know he doesn't get dashing dead eye. Straight up no point in giving him an ability. I think I got some shit wide receivers in there. Nobody to go crazy about, but yeah, Michael Woods, Gunner Olszewski. At wide receiver three, I'm actually leaving Andrew Ogletree. So we're already in an 81 overall. That's nice. Okay, so we know Ed Reed's really good. He's like, he's slept on. He's a budget player. He's not that good, but you know what's funny is now that I have an Ed Reed that's not a power up, you know damn well Ed Reed's gonna get like two pick sixes a game now. All right, so Tyson Campbell is corner three. Ed Reed's free safety. So Nick is gonna be my right end. I think Too Tall is gonna be my left end. And then Strahan's gonna be my D tackle one. I feel like that's the best way to do this. Wow, those three packs were so good. Right outside linebacker, I did get someone. I got Jack Sanborn, or I can use Justin Houston, or I can use Ty Summers. I'm gonna use Justin Houston. And then Ty Summers will just go in here at MLB2. Well, that is incredible. Those spins and clutch pulls were huge, and I can't forget about Harrison Bucker. He's honestly gonna be worlds better than Cade York. We wanna rock different unis this season. Dude, the most feared unis are actually kind of sick. I'm gonna rock them. That just leaves our chest challenge wheel and as you saw from those insane packs packs would be very nice right now completing the challenge would give me one of any pack in the store it's 85 fantasy points for the team so at the end of the game i'll add up the fantasy points of every single player on our team it adds up to 85 or more we completed the challenge i tried to calculate that to a fair number i don't know how fair that's good Ooh, he's got a score Wad. They've got the Denard. Sheesh. All right. It's going to be a game, boys. So, for example, let's say Justin Jefferson has 20 points. Christian McCaffrey has 30. And TJ Hawkinson has 35. That would be over 85 for the whole team. We've got some offensive weapons. The bad, I'm a little scared of McCaffrey throwing this football. Let's just make the easy throw to Earl Campbell. We'll take it for five yards. I, I need to sub in a Koye right now. We have a halfway decent old line. I could probably run the ball. He has an ability on literally every single player on his defense. Doesn't look like he has inside stuff, though. And Okoye! That's why we want the 95 Okoyes for that right there. By the way, for this challenge wheel, I'm not counting defensive points. This is offense only. Oh, it's actually a really... 
I've never seen Slipscreen go this hard. Go right through him. Go right through him. Fuck Juking. Juking's a myth. Let's go. Okoye is off to the races. Nice play, McCaffrey. Great blocks, everybody. Just go underneath to Okoye. It's sort of open. He's breaking tackles. Ooh, I had some stuff to throw, but I just got scared. McCaffrey. Nice scramble. Third and three. I'm going to send Gunnar Olszewski right across his face. And then Justin Jefferson downfield. There's Jefferson. Please, please, please. Most quarterbacks make that throw, but McCaffrey's ball has no zip. It doesn't have much placement. Look at that wobbly-ass pass. I am definitely scared of Denard. But he misses that pass there. That works for us. Third and four. <sighs> Shit, he's got 95 Okoye, too. I saw it. I just wasn't fast enough. Hey, good stop, though, gentlemen. Yes, yes, yes. We got bodies. We got bodies there. Let's go. Oh, no, that's bad. Go low. Yes, good tackle. No, another run play. It's clogged. It's clogged. <laughs> Fourth and goal. Oh, no, is he going to pass now? <gasps> he runs it. We're there. Psych. That is so unbelievably lucky. I don't know who hit him or what kind of animation he got, but somehow he gets pulled over the pile there. I think he's in a cover three, so I'm pretty sure Justin Jefferson is very open here. Yeah, he is. Can we make that pass? We can. Nice job that time. All right, so McCaffrey makes a great ball right there. Four for five. He's still four for five, seven. He's doing good. Just not as good as I would like. Oh, Earl Campbell got open. And McCaffrey missed the pass. See how this looks. Oh, he's so open. Fuck me. McCaffrey winding up a fucking lawnmower to throw that ball. I have a silver punt or two. This isn't going to go very far. I can't get this fourth and 20. I don't have a single play that would work. I don't even have a return team. He'll probably score here. Got Tyson Anderson out here for CD Lamb. Okay, handoff rocked by Crusher. Dude, I proved that I can stop him. We got a little unlucky, but I proved that I can stop him. We got to we got to use that. Uh, that's actually okay. Let's go! Fourth and three. Probably a field goal. Yeah, 53. I gotta figure something out on offense, though. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> he donked it in. Justin Jefferson, great snag against the man coverage. Now he's gonna be looking for Justin Jefferson. So we gotta hit Hawkinson. This is what we got Hawkinson for. This exact scenario. Man coverage, corner routes, deep out elite. Exactly why we got him. Let's go. There he is again. Oh, that was very open. There's hot Dude, fuck. Can't make it at all. Why can't he make it anymore? I'm gonna try and run the ball. Just get a little bit closer. Oh, Okay. Damn, I could have cut that up for a little bit more, huh? Might be able to hit Hawkinson right down the middle. Right there. No. Fucking dropped the high ball and got tipped. McCaffrey doesn't make the tackle. Thomas Davis is going to run this in. This is brutal. Dude, I, when I pulled McCaffrey, I thought it was this game changer. But now that I'm looking at his accuracies, he's basically a silver card who can run really fast. He can throw short, kind of. I'm going to have to score on defense. See, like, Hawkinson is there. McCaffrey can't make the throw. The man coverage is going to kind of kind of lock me up. I don't know what to do. Okay. That's new. Look for Hawkinson on that same route. Does not work that time. Earl Campbell broke a tackle. All right, little play action. Hawkinson is wide open, and he missed! Oh, McCaffrey! It even said perfect accuracy, which is just fucked up. Why would you say that to me? That would have been nice for the fantasy points. I don't think I score a touchdown, though. I'm gonna send a blitz. Get him. Hey, let's go! Switched on and sacked him. Punt dot? Oh my god, go outside. All right, we gotta play slower. I can rely on McCaffrey for so very little right now. I have to, like... I gotta find a way to beat him with checkdowns, but he can't really beat man coverage with checkdowns. Like, see how boxed that is? Oh, my God. That's Gunnar Olszewski. Get right behind Kelsey. Hey, let's go! Nice run. Bro Campbell out the backfield once again. The user's there, but... No, we got it. Hawkinson. Great snag. Getting around one. Getting around another. Let's go, Hawkinson. I'm fighting my ass off, but it, it might not be enough. Let's see if we get time for this. I, I believe in Jefferson here. That is crazy. Oh, that's twice now. Tough. All right, first and 10. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm going for. I guess I got to go for an Earl Campbell touchdown, right? What else can I really go for at this point? <sighs> Good handoff. Oh, I think I stopped him. Damn, he got that. Do something stupid. You know you want to. You know, you want to do something stupid. Nice sack. Second and 20 from Strahan. He's got a corner route that's open. Ooh, nice play. Does he run the ball? I'm ready if he does. Yup. 
Oh no, that's play action. Got my ass. No! Not at Reed! Of course at Reed! Of course! You're not a fucking power! I'm sure you're gonna go off, huh? He switches off. Nice interception, Ed Reed. Very proud of you. We really played spectacular defense. This was a good game. We just, we, we can't convert on offense right now. So it's, it's gonna be too difficult, you know? Like, look at that. Look at that pressure. Look at the man coverage. There's nothing I can do. Maybe we get Earl Campbell in the end zone, man. Dude, let's fucking go. Quick passes are killing it. I don't know. I feel like if I had figured this out sooner, would I have won? I don't know. I'm not gonna hit him this time. I'm gonna hit Hawkinson. Go. Don't go too far. I want Earl Campbell to score this. Ooh, third and inches. That's unlucky. No, no, you didn't. You didn't just accidentally intercept that ball that wasn't to your guy. Oh my God, what? He was running, guarding a guy, not looking at the ball, and how did he catch it? He wasn't even looking, look at this. Oh my, I can't wait to watch that back on highlights. No, I'm right here. I just missed the safety, I got it! Let's go! Got the safety, ball back. Earl Campbell still got a shot. Dude, Campbell isn't fumbling either. As I say that, he might. He might get hit hard here. Gonna call a timeout here. I wanna keep moving this ball down the field. I really wanna get Earl Campbell something, man. I can't walk out of this game with nothing to show for it. Okay, okay. No, horrible ball. Ho, 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 I got bailed out. Bail out seems that was a trash ball from McCaffrey, but Hawkinson made a bigger play. Only reason we're here to talk about it. I think this is cover three, although this might now be man. It is cover three. Jefferson should be open. Yeah, that was cover three. They just played that really well. Don't know what defense this is. Let's go, Campbell. Dude, that's fucked up. Holy shit, watch that one back. Right tackle, legitimately, legitimately did not block him. Not exaggerating, didn't block him. He legitimately didn't block him. No man on earth could have thrown a pass out of that. This has sucked so bad. Holy ball. Fourth and one. Holy fucking ball. I have no timeouts in seven seconds. Oh, he called timeout for me? I have to go Campbell. The only person I needed to have a touchdown there was Earl Campbell. I honestly am proud of how I played, but from a wheel of up perspective, he did nothing. Gotta reset the team to where it was. We don't keep a single player. We have to go back into the next game completely raw, dude. I can't say I'm that mad about losing McCaffrey, but, but there's some guys I'm really sad to leave. 10 for 79 was Campbell. I'm not even gonna count up the fantasy points because I know we didn't get them. Dude, this was crazy. This interception was crazy to me. So I'm trying to throw TJ Hawkinson on this drag. Like, look at this. Megatron's not even looking. It just smacks him in the face. Megatron caught an interception off his face mask. All right, boys, tough start to this Wheel of Mutt season. We're 0-1, and, and our team is reset. No win, no keeping players, no challenge wheel, no packs. Just a tough L. I'll see you in the next episode. We got to make up for this one. Peace.